Here's a video of the sequential flat light LED boards that I've been working on. Uh, the yellow in the video looks really white. It's washed out, but it really looks yellow in person, so it's a lot better looking in person. Uh, so there's the headlights just to ring around the outside. Uh, it's off, so the board in the back is green, but it's going to be white in the production versions, and I might find something shiny to put over it. Um, but there's uh, fully sequential yellow blinkers. There's a brake with blinker in the tip, and the tip I can put with the arrow as well if I want to, but it's just straight right here. Um, and then this is all red blinkers, so this is how the uh, American, so USDM 72s are, and there's your headlights again. Uh, we'll go back around one more time. So there's just brakes. This is very bright. <laughs> all yellow blinkers. If you wanted yellow blinkers or red blinkers, I mean it's a flip of a button to change back and forth. Um, brakes with blinkers on. So uh, this is would emulate a little bit more like the 73 through 77 Celicos would do, you know, with the brake light and the blinker versus the entire um, lens blinking with your blinkers and the brakes are on, but it can all be decided in uh, software how we want to do that. So I'll go through a couple more times. We, uh, it's just a green board in the back, like I had said. It's probably going to be white, but I might think of something reflective. Um, the original uh, housings were, well, this isn't original. This is one of my, my reproductions. Um, but the originals were silver on the inside. They had, let's see, I've got one sitting right here. The original housings were white, well, grayish with silver aluminum reflectors in there. I can get the same gray color ABS if I wanted to, instead of using the black ABS. Um, this is one of our reproductions. This, there, uh, I just have it duct taped in there so that I could take a video of it. But basically it's just a board that sits down on the bottom of here. That'll be obviously hooked in more permanently. Um, but that's, that's what I have so far for the uh, uh, for the housings, for the LED versions, it just sits back. Um, it needs to sit back, the uh, the board needs to sit back from the lens about 50, maybe 60 millimeters or so, a little over two inches. Um, so that's, that's what the back of the uh, LED housings will look like. Um, it'll have the same kind of thing, I think, here where the reverse section is. I haven't really started developing that yet, so I, that doesn't have anything. But the difference... So you've got the three bulbs there versus just the big flat one that I make on my vacuum form machine up there. But that's what the uh, the LED housings will look like and the wires will come out probably over here somewhere-ish, I'm not quite sure. Um, but so I painted the inside of this one silver. So that's, that's kind of what it looks like um, with just the silver on there. So that's probably roughly what it would look like when I have white PCBs instead of green PCBs, uh, but we'll just have to see, you know, cross that bridge when we get there. I just wanted to get running first. But let me know if you have any questions. Uh, we're uh, going full ahead on these, but there's only so much one man can do in his spare time. I'm assembling a bunch of uh, hinges up here. We got some, these are 72 hinges that I've got here, and then. Those are all unassembled 77 hinges and 77 bumper brackets and we got just buckets of parts down there and bunches of elbows or hood props, however you want to call it. My whole garage is just a mess. We're moving into a bigger shop soon though and that'll be uh, good news for everybody when that happens. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, and uh... Just so you know, the name of my company is Fox AU2 Reproductions. Um, just in case you were wondering how it's pronounced. But there we go. So exciting things are happening. And we'll post some more stuff soon.